All right, guys, this is the R9 Customs bag. It's their logo there. Uh, these are made in Thailand. Um, they're actually uh, by an Australian guy. He's super cool. Um, we've got to know each other a little bit. I've been selling these for almost a year now and uh, haven't done a video of them yet. And uh, they're really good bags. They've got the black and they got the green like this and they've got uh, tan and they're just super nice bags. It's heavy duty canvas, got nice leather straps, good looking hardware on here. And right now it's on the sissy bar here. Our sissy bar has our tail lights and our tag built into it. So um, obviously th those aren't shown, um, but I'm gonna get a side mount tag on here uh, anyway. So that's not gonna be an issue for the tag. I'll probably get another tail light down there, leave these in here also. So can't hurt, um, but it looks, looks really good. Really heavy duty bags. Um, you can have it this way. You can flip it around and go the other way with it. I'll show you that. You can actually hang it off the back like that. That works pretty good too. So, and you can do that on any seat. You've got a couple different loops here. The newer ones have these other loops. So if you want to do even bigger seats, big, big fat padded seats and stuff like that, these are pretty much going anything. Now you can look through those, you can look through these. Uh, this is the cord that comes with it. You can switch out to paracord or anything else. There's really big eyelets in here for you to be able to do that. Uh, so plenty of room there. And, uh, it looks pretty cool like that too. It's got a good look like that also. So, Again, if your tag's up there, your tail lights, you will have to have something else at the bottom like on this one. But on our Sporty, um, on the, uh, the Ironhead Roadster Chopper, uh, you check out some, some video of it here, and it looks really good on there. It's got that thick Sully seat on there. Um, not as thick as some of the other ones, but because it doesn't have a sissy bar included, but you can see that it fits, fits well. It's strapped on in there. It has um, a tag down below it and the tail light, and it all looks perfect on it. Um, so if it's mounted down the fender, you don't have to worry about anything. Um, and, and it's it's a good looking bag. You can see inside, uh, the material on the inside is really nice. Um, uh, it's all essentially 100% waterproof. They do have covers for these, um, but this is waxed canvas uh, material, so you don't have to worry about that too much. Um, and uh, it's rolled up uh, here. You can see it's rolled just a couple of times here. You know, not a ton. Um, if you've got a, you've got more stuff than this, you might not be able to get a one roll in there. If you've got less stuff, you can roll it even tighter. Um, and I'll show you what all we got in here. Um, so on the buckle system, just pull the buckle through. This one's all brand spanking new. Slide that through. So it is buckled down really good. Nobody's gonna steal your stuff. So this rolls up. It's buttoned on the sides. Okay, so you can unbutton the sides as well as the middle here. You can open it up, a nice big hole there. And you can see we got two different Mexican blankets down in here. Still a ton of room in here. Got a tool bag down the bottom. See there's one there. Got another one in here. Got a uh, tool bag down here in the bottom. That is a, a really deep bag. You see how it's going pretty limp now, but it's a really deep bag down in here. So, I mean, it can really hold a bunch of stuff. So, pretty much everything you need if you're going on a trip, 
you know, throw whatever you need in there. If you're going to be packing clothes and stuff, obviously you take the uh, blankets here, strap those um, there or flip it around and have all that padding of your clothes and jackets and stuff in there, winter weather gear, whatever, and then throw your blanket out here. You'd have a pretty good backrest on it to run all the time. So that's a pretty good deal there. Now on the strap, this is the carrying strap here. That goes all the way around. You can tighten it up real tight, give you even more security. And then when you want to take the bag off, you just pull it on around, drop it down through here. So that comes off like that. Take it, flick it up here. You can pull the bag straight up like that. That pulls it off. And then you've got another little D-ring loop down here. You take the other strap off and move it around to there. Usually there, we've got her hooked in there. It's easy to carry. You can throw it on your shoulder. No issues there. So you can see here, get the strap on, toss it on your shoulder. Everything works out really good. Things on there, pulls nice and secure. Toss it on over that way. Keep it real tight on you if you need to carry it. Ride the bike, whatever. Sissy bar brakes off. Who knows? So you've got uh, a couple things you can do there. And uh, really handy bags. Work really good, really good size. Got uh, a couple pockets in here if you've got a fuel bottle or a water bottle. They do have drain holes in there, so you don't have to worry about water setting in those. Got one of those on each side. So just really nice bags. And like I said, these are on the, our website, highrevsgarage.com. Check out the bag. Got a nice corset on here. Get you one of these really nice bags. Um, I've had the black, you got the green. Um, tans are really nice. They all look really good. I mean, it's really hard to pick your color, but uh, so check out highrevsgarage.com. You see a link um, popping up in the description. So check these out.